let's have a look at the next question the next question had a couple of approaches which i thought of slightly difficult question difficult to think of the approaches which we're talking about but let's have a look at it. the minimum possible value for this where x is less than 3 is 1 now one approach which when i thought of it immediately was to use derivatives now i know 90 percent of the audience doesn't prefer that but this is for all the engineers who prefer derivatives or can do this very easily with derivatives i would have done it just be safe and finish it off so one way is do derivatives use your u by v formula so that's quickly showing that derivative part dy by dx will be taking that as y dy by dx will be v into derivative of u which will be 2x minus 6 minus x square minus 6x minus 10 into derivative of v which is minus 1 upon v square which does not matter because i am going to equate this to 0 right so 3 minus x into 2 minus 2x minus 6 so 3 into 2x will be 6x 3 into minus 6 will be minus 18 minus x into 2x will be negative 2x square minus x into plus minus 6 will be plus 6x yes i know i could have used two common taken x minus 3 the whole square all that but that's okay not really needed minus minus plus so i'll have a plus x square minus 6x plus 10 that is not minus 10 but a plus 10 over here and this is equal to 0 so we are left with negative x square 1 6x and minus 6x cuts out so i'm left with a plus 6x minus 18 plus 10 is minus 8 is equal to 0 divide by negative 1 so x square minus 6x plus 8 is 0 so i get x is 2 or x is 4 x cannot be 4 because they said x is less than 3 so x is 2 just put the value in the question of x, x as x is 2 so i'll get 4 4 minus 12 plus 10 upon 1 that will be 2 upon 1 which is 2 and hence i get my answer as the fourth option this is one way to do it could have taken me one and a half two minutes but in a cat exam when i'm definitely sure of getting a question worth it maybe not the great approach to do it so let's think of a better approach to do this the other way i was just thinking when i was doing this question i was just thinking around if x is less than 3 do you agree if i write my numerator as x square minus 6x plus 9 plus 1 it is x minus 3 the whole square plus 1 which means my numerator can never be negative it's always positive my numerator is always positive and my denominator is also always possible because x is less than 3 so denominator is also always positive which means these two can never be my answer because positive divided by positive can never give me negative then maybe try using some values and all that and maybe you'll get that answer quickly too but the great approach to this question was this pay attention write my write the denominator numerator x square minus 6x plus 9 plus 1 upon 3 minus x this is x minus 3 the whole square plus 1 upon 3 minus x x minus 3 the whole square is same as 3 minus x the whole square upon 3 minus x plus 1 upon 3 minus x if you cut this 3 minus x over here you are left with 3 minus x plus 1 upon 3 minus x if you still haven't recollected what i'm doing put 3 minus x as a i know 3 minus x cannot be negative so put it as a so we've got a plus 1 upon a and they're asking for minimum value of a plus 1 upon a i'm sure you come across this thousand times minimum value of a plus 1 upon a will always be 2 because minimum value you can have because uh, we can have is only 2 there is no other way possible for a value less than 2 answer will be the fourth option pretty interesting question again no not category a maybe b for some of y'all maybe c for most of y'all 